the creation and the flood. These are apparently events, according to the Bible, that aren't like the present. Right. And the neat thing is, that's what we see here. I mean, you've got, you've got events even here, like those, those rocks right up there. That cliff isn't actually in place. That cliff it belongs about a thousand feet up. It's slid down to its current location. Uh -huh. That's a pretty big boulder. That's huge, it's okay, massive. Now, now what kind of process in the present slides blocks that big down? This thing continues for a mile. Oh it's, it's actually goes up the other side and down. The whole thing slid down from above, pointing to an event some time ago that's unlike anything in the present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But inside those rocks are yet further evidence of an event before that that's even bigger, even more unlike the present. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then inside those rocks are also fossils of a time period that's very different than the present. So the, it, according to the claims of scripture and according to my own experience, you can't use the present to, to judge the past, to understand the past. And that passage you're referring to, they willfully uh, ignore that it implies then that it's visible, or it implies that it could be seen then. That's right, that's so, right. I mean, there's, there's evidence in these rocks that scream out. It screams something is weird going on, something that's very unusual, not understandable from the present. 